The Indian government on Thursday revised the home isolation rules of mild and asymptomatic COVID-19 patients. Here is the complete guide for home isolation as released by Health Ministry. Patients eligible for home isolation are as follows. The patient should be clinically assigned as mild asymptomatic case by the treating medical officer. Such cases should have the requisite facility at their residence for self-isolation and for quarantining the family contacts. A caregiver should be available to provide care on 24 by 7 basis. A communication link between the caregiver and hospital is a prerequisite for the entire duration of home isolation. Elderly patients aged more than 60 years and those with comorbid conditions shall only be allowed home isolation after proper evaluation by the treating medical officer. Patients suffering from immune compromised status like HIV, transplant recipients, cancer therapy patients, etc. are not recommended for home isolation and shall only be allowed home isolation after proper evaluation by the treating medical officer. The caregiver and all close contacts of such cases should take hydroxychloroquine prophylaxis as per protocol and as prescribed by the treating medical officer. Now, the instructions for the patient. Patient must isolate himself from other household members, stay in the identified room and away from other people in home, especially elderly and those with comorbid conditions like hypertension, cardiovascular disease, renal disease, etc. The patient should be kept in a well-ventilated room with cross ventilation and windows should be kept open to allow fresh air to come in. Patients should at all times use triple layer medical mask, discard mask after 8 hours of use or earlier if they become wet or visibly soiled. In the event of caregiver entering the room, both caregiver and patient may consider using N95 mask. Mask should be discarded only after disinfecting it with 1% sodium hypochlorite. Patient must take rest and drink lot of fluids to maintain adequate hydration. Follow respiratory etiquettes at all times. Frequent hand washing with soap and water for at least 40 seconds or clean with alcohol-based sanitizer. Don't share personal items with other people in the household. Ensure cleaning of surfaces in the room that are touched often with 1% hydrochloride solution. Self-monitoring of blood oxygen saturation with a pulse oximeter is strongly advised. The patient will self-monitor his or her health with daily temperature monitoring and report promptly if any deterioration of symptom as given below is noticed. Difficulty in breathing, dip in oxygen saturation, persistent pain or pressure in the chest and mental confusion or inability to get up. Now, treatment for patients with mild or asymptomatic disease in home isolation are as follows. Patients must be in communication with a treating physician and promptly report in case of any deterioration. The patient must continue the medications for other comorbid illness after consulting the treating physician. Patients should follow symptomatic management for fever, running nose and cough as warranted. Patients may perform warm water gargles or take steam inhalation twice a day. If fever is not controlled with a maximum dose of paracetamol 650 mg tablet four times a day, consult the treating doctor who may consider advising other drugs like non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. Consider tab ivermectin for three to five days. Inhalational budosonide is to be given if symptoms such as fever or cough, are persistent beyond five days of disease onset. The decision to administer remdesivir or any other investigational therapy must be taken by a medical professional and administered only in a hospital setting. Do not attempt to procure or administer remdesivir at home. Systemic oral steroids is not indicated in mild disease. If symptoms such as persistent fever, worsening cough, etc. persist beyond seven days, consult the treating doctor for treatment with low dose oral steroids. In case of falling oxygen saturation or shortness of breath, the person should require hospital admission and seek immediate consultation of their treating physician or surveillance team. Finally, let us see when should the patient discontinue home isolation. Patient under home isolation will stand discharged and end isolation after at least 10 days have passed from the onset of symptoms or from the date of sampling for asymptomatic cases and no fever for three days. There is no need for testing after the home isolation period is over. Details the Health Ministry. News Desk, Kaumadi English.